drive by Central Park Plaza on Saturday afternoon and see what looked like a big party happening on the grounds? There was a band playing, white tents dotted the area, and you can smell something delicious as you made your trek downtown Lincoln Way. What was that? That, dear readers, was the Valparaiso Wine Festival. This was its maiden voyage. It was created and orchestrated by the Valparaiso Community Festivals and Events. BCFE is a nonprofit organization that helps to keep the downtown area alive and well with the awesome events that they provide throughout the year. They are responsible for events such as, but not limited to, Valpa Brewfest, Outdoor Movies, Holly Days, and Summer Rhapsody Music Festival, all very popular events. This is very similar to the layout and format of Brewfest. Our guests are unlimited our guests for unlimited wine samples and a commemorative glass. Tina St. Aubin, executive director of BCFE, said, We are sold out. We kept it tickets at $7.50. It was a good number for us for our first year and will grow slowly each year. We have board members and volunteers out helping us today and we are extremely pleased with the response. With a new event, you'll never know how it turned out, so we're very thankful. There were nine different distributors that took part in the event, and there were about 120 different wines that guests could try. Freak Johnson played live music to the delight of the patrons, and there was a raffle for 12 bottles of wine. Freebies were handed out to all that came as well. All of this for only $35 a ticket. Nice. There were VIP passes available for purchase before the fest for $50. Those who bought those got in an hour early, access to a special VIP tent, exclusive wine tastings, and food pairings. Designated driver passes were available as well for a lower fee. See? You can be smart and safe and still have fun. There was also food available for purchase from Billy Jacks and Sweet Lou That's Who. We started planning this in January. It has been incredibly well received. Kristen Morrison, who runs operations for VCFE, said, we sold out of tickets quicker than we ever thought, and people seem to be enjoying themselves. So that makes us very happy. I've always had fun at our events, and we have fun doing it. It's fun to see people really having a good time and knowing that you had a part in making that happen. Everyone who attended the fest had a great time. The weather was perfect, the location was perfect, and the wine was perfect. Could it be any better? Why, yes. The net proceeds generated from the wine fest were donated to local charities. I'll tell you what. Northwest Indiana is chock full of giving people, businesses, and organizations. We look forward to next year. Think about it. Like wine, it can only get better as the years go by.